everybody, welcome to Enchanted by You. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. And if you are returning, I really appreciate that you're coming back here and checking out all my videos. We make some really cool stuff. So uh, if you are coming back, I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that you are liking the things that we're doing here. Today, I want to do kind of like a story time. I'm not gonna do a spirit box with this because I have something really cool that I need to show you guys. But before we get into the actual picture of this demon, I gotta tell you the story. So this is what was going on. I used to live in the state of Washington and it was me and my son and my daughter and his friend. And I would take these three kids out to a little fishing spot that we had all the time. And we are terrible fishers, but we love to fish. So we go fishing now in Texas all the time too. But we had a special little spot in Washington and it was on private property. It was a nice property. The guy had actually set up about four different little campsites where you could stay the night. We never stayed the night, but we would go out there at like five or six o'clock. We would cook dinner on the campfire. The boys would run around and collect wood. You know, we were just having a good time. We would make our dinner and then we would fish or try to fish anyway. And then we would just hang out and by the fire and go home eventually, you know, sometimes around 11, 12 o'clock at night if it was the summer. But so we were always hanging out at this fishing spot and I felt really safe because like I said, it's on private property and it sat at the bottom of a hill right on the river and the owner knew us and was happy to have us there. He really liked that, you know, I brought the kids out there all the time and it was just a wonderful, wonderful place. I love this place. So anyway, one night it was myself and my daughter and my son and one of my son's friends. My daughter was maybe five or six at the time and my son was probably around eighth grade, so maybe 13, 14 at the time and his friend was 13, 14. And we all decided that we were gonna go down to our fishing spot. And when I say we went there a lot, I mean we were there two, three, four nights a week. We were out there playing and and the kids just really enjoyed it. You could even hike around a little bit. They had a great time. So we were there all the time. But this night, something was different. We got there and it was maybe five o'clock or so. And from the moment we got there, I just felt really creeped out and really uneasy. And I just felt like something was wrong. I don't know, I can't even really explain it to y'all. It was just, that overwhelming feeling of panic. It was just sheer panic. And I was so scared, but I kept telling myself, this is ridiculous. You know, Cassandra, you're just being overdramatic. Nothing's wrong. This is a great fishing place. And sometimes there would be other people there, but this night we had it all to ourselves. So no one was around for a good at least half mile it was just us on the river and it but something was wrong something was really off and I just felt this like fear and this panic and this motherly instinct to keep my little girl right next to me I mean I would not let her go out of my sight for a minute usually I would let her go collect firewood or something with the boys but the boys weren't great at watching her and keeping track of her as well but I would not let her go play with the boys. I would not let her do anything. She had to stay right next to me. So anyway, I talked myself out of leaving because we've been here a thousand times and we love the place and nothing ever goes wrong. We've always had great experiences there. I talked myself out of making us leave that night. So we stay and we cook our dinner and we do a little bit of fishing and we hang out a little bit and it's getting really, really dark and the boys wanna go off for more firewood and I just felt really uncomfortable letting them do that. So I told them that they couldn't do that, that we needed to start, you know, leaving or whatever. Well, they asked if they could play for like another half hour and goof around for another half hour. So I agreed to let them goof around for another half hour because everything still seemed fine. Nothing had happened. Everything had been going okay. Well, so I let the boys 
play around and goof around and I let my daughter goof around as long as she was in my sight and within really maybe 10 feet of me I kept her very close and it's so hard it just creeps me out to even explain it to you guys but the boys were really just goofing off like a little 13 14 year old boys are going to do you know they're just making marshmallows and they're just being goofy so I decided I would take some pictures and I started taking some pictures and everything was okay and all was okay and I got even more fearful and more panicky and I said that's it and I packed all the kids up and we went home and fortunately nothing happened that night uh, we were safe everything was okay but like I said especially when it started getting really dark I started keeping the kids right in my sight so I could protect everyone. I just felt that need to do that. So the next day, I'm flipping through the pictures on my phone of the kids being silly and the pictures that I had taken. And I'm going to show you this picture, this one picture I took of my son. And I, I don't know if he's like eating a marshmallow or he's just being goofy. But I took a picture of him and standing behind him and I didn't see it at the time is this entity that's all I know what to say about it there's this entity with human looking eyes and this huge nose and it's gi it's gigantic there's this just entity standing like okay so anyway, I gotta stop explaining this because there's really not the words to explain this. So I'm just going to show you the pictures. Now, here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna show you the pictures and I really need to comment if you see this thing or if I'm losing my mind. <laughs> and when you do see this thing, cause you will see this thing through these pictures, what you guys think this is. The only thing I can think of is an entity, you know? Um, I want to know what you guys think this is. So yeah, so that's our creepy, creepy story for the night and the creepy pictures. Let's get into the pictures and yeah. Okay guys, so what did you think of the pictures? Did you see the creature that's standing behind my son? I was just scrolling through pictures, like I said, the next day and I saw that and I just got so freaked out, especially because of how I had felt the night before. That just scared me to pieces. So leave me a comment in the comments below about what you think I caught in that picture. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but I want to hear from you guys. So, hope everyone's doing okay. Um, love y'all, and I will be talking to you soon. Can't wait to hear what you think.